Vast, mysterious and enchanting, the ruined city of Palenque is considered to be the most beautifully conceived of the Mayan city-states and one of the loveliest archaeological sites in the world. The palace has 13 vaulted houses and a tower surrounding four patios. Three underground galleries make up the structure. Construction of this complex took approximately 200 years. Striking features of the palace are the stucco moulding that decorate the pillars of some of the houses and the mural painting mainly on the interiors. This complex was the centre of the administrative duties and daily life of Palenque's nobility. The palace is a complex of courtyards, separated by long rooms and corridors, which was a ritual and residential area for Palenque's rulers. Many of the rooms contained ornate benches, probably used as thrones. Short staircases descend on each of the four sides of the east courtyard. Above the roof, we see that five piers are decorated with reliefs. The reliefs are probably of Palenque rulers, surrounded by their parents or ancestors. In the East Court, House C of the Palace has tablets of prisoners on the side of the stairway. The ample interior spaces were created by recesses in the vaults. The best view of the North Steps is from House C. House C is on the west side of the courtyard and the wall of its corridors has reliefs. House D is in the northwest corner of the palace. It's made up of two long rooms divided by a wall with colonnades on the east and west sides. The purpose of the tower is unknown. It may have been used as an observatory or as a watchtower. Some think the tower acted as a sundial. In the corridor, an oval tablet copy shows Pakal and his mother. On the inside wall is the T-shaped window of House C. These are called Ick windows. Ik meaning wind. The base of the Temple of the Inscriptions is composed of nine platforms and is reminiscent of the nine levels of the underworld.
tantas coisas que não dá nem para contar. The name of the temple depends on the three large stone tablets carved with hieroglyphs. Temple 13 has a pyramid base. Explored in 1993, it revealed a substructure or earlier temple, with a chamber used as the tomb for a woman, now known as the Red Queen. Temple 12 is known as the Temple of the Skull, from the stucco moulding at the base of one of the pillars. The Temple of the Cross is one of the temples of the complex, known as the Crosses Group, built in the reign of Chan Balum II. On a pyramid base of nine platforms stands the temple with double parallel galleries, topped with a crest. Numerous tablets with inscriptions are present in the temple. This tablet shows God El smoking. Another tablet shows Pakal II. The rear gallery is composed of two lateral chambers and a small temple or shrine in the center. The Temple of the Sun is one of the best preserved examples of Palenque architecture. Three doors pierce the front wall of an interior, which is divided into an antechamber and three rear sanctums. Inside its sanctuary is the stone tablet which gives the temple its name and shows Chan Balum II and his father, Pakal II, in an enthronement ceremony. The temple of the foliated cross is dedicated to God G II of the Palenque Triad. It's associated with fertility. This building houses a stone panel in its shrine, which shows Chan Balun II receiving the insignia of power from his father. The Maya civilization site of Palenque was the capital city of Pakal the Great, one of the most powerful kings of Central America in late classic times. The site was first occupied during the early classic and fell around 800 AD. Found in this room was a female skeleton contained in a large stone sarcophagus covered in cinnabar, a red pigment. The burial included a great offering of jade but unfortunately, there were no texts to help identify the woman. In many temples, there are pieces of marvelous workmanship and stone panels. The Temple of the Count faces the ball court and forms a corner with the North Group. The name comes from Count Frederick de Waldeck, who's supposed to have lived in it. This temple was built by Pakal II the Great and has a plan of twin galleries and side chambers in the rear one. The north group includes a ball court, the Temple of the Count and several tombs that were full of offerings. Inscriptions found in this group give the lineages of at least 12 kings.
Piercing the dark green forests saw great pyramids, towers and sprawling temple complexes. The small Otolum River runs between the palace and the crosses group. Just past the north group is a pathway that leads down a jungle hillside with benches and small reconstructed temples along the way. A bridge allows the tourist trail to cross the Otolum, providing access down to the Morchilagos group and the modern museum. Though the top of this bridge is reinforced concrete, its architecture underneath is a cobbled arch tunnel built in the Maya Classic period. This ball court is one of the oldest structures at Palenque and one of the oldest in the Maya world. It's dated around 500 AD, and it's the only ball court in Palenque. Such a small ball court is typical of the classic Maya society. The ball game was a very important part of the Mayans' religious life. The ancient city of Palenque is both grand and mysterious. Palenque Chapas showcase is one of the most famous sites in the Mayan civilization. The city's ruins were designated a UNESCO World Heritage Site in 1987.